grew up down here and my parents live in Moscow. My nana, who just turned 100, is now living in Moscow as well. Great having family around. It's, I think it's really important for the kids. I guess it's a lifestyle thing more than anything else and that, you know, everything we need is here. This is Zeus. Zeus is four years old and he's just starting to calm down. Loves food, loves walking, loves being around the family. It's special having a pet and we try and get out most days. Lucky, we've got some great places around Moscow to go walking. There's the race course here, which I just live up the hill slightly and get away from it all. You know, I can be quite wound up and go out and walk the dog and come back and just have a different perspective on the issue <laughs> at hand. I guess one of those, the modern ways of staying in the moment and, and staying focused and I think that's the beauty of having Zeus is that, wait, oh, isn't he a growly dog? <laughs> Zeus, sit down. He's got your back. He has got my back. <laughs> As a parent, Grace is uh, 12 years old and Ella's 10, so they are very keen on lots of things but very keen and knowledgeable about netball. And every time you catch the ball, you have to land a stable balance position and pivot around. I have coached both girls on and off over the last couple of years, you know, and that's been interesting because when you've coached at, you know, um, more capable athletes and you go back to some real junior ones, you have to really test your skill set and, and how do you communicate and, and you make the what seems potentially quite confusing really simple for for little people and the basics at any level are really important and even at, you know, at franchise and silver fern level you can make special things happen when you've got the basics done really well and that would be across any sport. Pivot it around Taylor, Seville, pass it to someone else in your team. I try to a little bit stand back as a parent and let them do what they want to do but there's times that I've actually made them run around the race course to get them fit or just got them out every now and then and done a few coaching things because there's just little habits you can see forming that you don't want to so. Yeah, one day they'll look back at me and get, probably give me quite a hard time, but... I'm very proud of Mum and what she's done. It's really handy with the tips, but sometimes, you know, she can get a bit overboard. <laughs> she wants me to do the best job that I can do, which is really nice. It's nice to have that ability to go back and, and be involved at the grassroots level and I think it's quite easy to forget about where you've come from and I, I really like just staying connected to, the, to my roots and to, and to that base that I've come from. So I've had to work really hard to get to where I've got to a Silver Ferns coach. I've put myself into some pretty uncomfortable situations at times and, and had lots of challenges and I think, you know, when you're working in this environment you need to really understand yourself pretty well and, you know, I've had to have some pretty honest truths given to me. I've had some pretty harsh feedback at times, some pretty dark and low places as a coach. But it's that resilience and that ability to pick yourself up and what did you learn from that and how can you do, do it better and, and I guess I'm always searching to be better in everything I do. The biggest opportunity for us this year is really who are the players that will win us the Commonwealth Games gold medal and the World Cup gold medal in 2019. We really need to close the gap with Australia. Seen some great progress at the end of last year and the challenge is to be able to do it consistently and, and being the world leaders and you know I know that Every team that goes into a competition wants to be that. That's the challenge that we want to rise to and achieve.